Hello, I'm Terry Cardell, and welcome to my show, Talking with Terry. Here we will learn how to master our mindset in life, business, and beyond. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. There is no denying that when we're engaged in laughter, there's this indescribable, profound sensation that leaves us feeling ecstatic, right? But did you know humor is an important life skill to get, that we get to craft for more than just happiness? Master comedian, award-winning humorist, author, and speaker, Karen Ruth White is here to share us with more. Hi, Tara. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, it's nice to be talking with Terry. <laughs> right? I love it. It's pretty brilliant, isn't it? It's pretty brilliant. All right, so tell us why humor and adding laughter in your day is so important. Oh my gosh, there's so many reasons. First, there's the health reasons, yes. right? Um, to release endorphins, which are natural painkillers in the body. Mm -hmm. And there are so many uh, research studies. Norman Cousins is probably the most well-known anatomy of an illness where he talks about how he used humor as one of his main healing tools yeah. to get over a blood disease that was, um, I mean, it's just a miraculous story. He watched, yeah. he watched like three hours of comedy every yes. day, maybe one to three hours. And, um, so that's one reason. Number two, you know, if you if you're in any position in life or business where you want to attract interest, you want to attract mm -hmm. high energy um, prospects and clients. If you walk in and with a dour expression and are not engaged in any yeah. way, and humor mm -hmm. is such a wonderful way to engage with people, you're not your business is not going to go far, yeah, and your life's not going to go far. So it's. It's, I agree. Like when you're, yeah. when you, when if there's an energy, there's an essence, right? That's there's, right. It's That's just right. a powerful energy when you're, and when you're sharing it in laughter. And don't you want to just that, like, yeah. aren't you drawn to the, yes. the you know, where the fun mm -hmm. is? And then, you know we what they say, know. funny brings money. Funny brings but, money. Uh, funny brings money. Funny brings money, and baby. ka -ching. You, Yeah. And you know, so I've hired you multiple times um, to help with my speech um, and r speech writing because, you know, I... I like to be funny, but when you have a certain amount, like a little tiny time, you know, 20 minutes, it's hard to be strategically. Strategically funny. That's funny, a good one. Right? Yep. Like, and so, because if I have eight hours, like, oh, we're, we're going and I'm playing off what's happening in the room. Yeah. But when you want to be really strategic, it's yep. a different game. And so I've hired you a couple different times. And um, um, it's just, it's powerful. And I will tell you, my conversion rate, I can literally say that has, like, blown off the charts and I do believe it's because two reasons one is it's adding humor but the other one is just adding a really fun energy into my speaking absolutely it, people want more people of it people feel like you know people want to be entertained you know they do they want to have fun life is hard yeah that's yeah. my mantra life's hard laugh a lot that's right I love it laugh a lot I love it I mean just to ask yourself in an everyday situation is there anything funny about this can yes. I find anything in this moment yeah. to laugh about well, and I think sometimes just like, you know, like you said, um, off screen is like going and finding the funny, right? Like going and finding and, and seeking that out. Yes. Proactively. Things, yes. Like, you know, and that's, I think that's engaging our curiosity brain too. Which Absolutely. Is like, you know, just curious. And it's things that like, you know, that I can like happen. that connecting, connecting yeah. curious. You're right. It is connecting curiosity with mm -hmm. humor. That's good. Mm -hmm. Because you're just being curious. And then like, that's what kids do all the time. Absolutely. Kids laugh 400 times a day. That's wow. the research. Yes. I don't yeah. know how they. I mean, that's. Yeah. Count that. I mean, some guy imagine, with a clipboard you, walking around. Was that one laugh? <laughs> is, that, is that two laughs? Is that one whole laugh? And then um, the same research, adults, if we're lucky, we're laughing 15 times a day. Oh, heavens. That's so sad. And then uh, there's a recent um, research that just came out on the uh, elderly population. Any guesses how much 80 and over, how many, how often people are laughing? Five times. One and a half. One and a half, a half. I, ha I know half laugh. It's just like I think I'll, I think I'll save that the rest of that for tomorrow. Yeah, right? isn't that sad? Oh, so, so what is it about so life sad. that just drains our humor yeah. out of us? It's like mm -hmm. I refuse. I'm going the other way. Yeah, I just want to 
you know, continue to build that laughter yeah. reserve uh -huh. because life, as I said, life is hard and you yeah. need every tool yeah. available and mm -hmm. humor and laughter are so powerful. I sometimes wonder, you know, what we, what we think about, we bring about, right? And so I'm always finding, like, I always get myself in these predicaments, these situations. And I'm like, how do I get my, and I mean, it's, it's a lot. And then I just, and it brings about so much, um, so much humor through it. So today when we were resetting and getting mic'd up, you grab the candle so our cameraman did not, you know, burn his little tush. Oh, your butt's about to catch on fire, dude. <laughs> oh. butt on fire. And I was like, oh, you know, make sure that you don't catch yourself on fire because I have literally caught myself on fire once. And I'm like sitting here thinking about this whole situation. That doesn't sound funny. It doesn't, but wait until I tell you. So I'll make it the short version of it. Um, my, it was, um, you know, I don't know, it was a date night or something like that where I was going to make a nice dinner for my husband. And I had, I thought, you know what, I'll put a little, like, nice little, um, what do I want to call it? Sexy Teddy? Sexy, a sexy little lingerie on. Okay. okay. And I didn't have a sexy, Noir? I didn't have, I didn't have a sexy, like, robe. So I was like, oh, but he's coming home. I might make dinner, right? And so I came in. And I, get, I went to go grab my fuzzy robe. And you know, on the back of um, some items, like <laughs> clothing, it says, may be flammable. And I never got that. I never understood what that meant. Is so it smart he, to have a robe that may be flammable? <laughs> is that smart? I know, right? I don't but think that's smart. Why would you make them? Why would you what? make that? And, and what's the may? May <laughs> be flammable. You know, so, if the... You know, so if, it's, anyhow, if I'm in the mood, so husband, I'll be flammable. So I hear the garage, and I'm like, oh, perfect time. I'm going to light the candle. So I have two <laughs> candles on the table with my fuzzy robe. Snort. <laughs> that was a baby one. Baby snort. <laughs> so baby snort, not, not. <laughs> go for the snort. Go for the snort. <laughs> so I go, and I light the first one, all good, and I reach over to grab the second one, and I'm about four inches away from it. But because it may be flammable, that booger flips off top of me and all of a sudden I go oh my gosh I got myself on fire and robes because they may be flammable it just like instantaneously like starts like dancing all over my body I'm like oh my gosh and I I thought about stop drop and roll because that conditioning was in there strong um but I was like if I stop drop and roll and this like we were in an apartment at the time I'm gonna like this this you know for you know this terrible um carpet is going up in flames so I'm like oh I can't so then I was trying to scooch off it so I'm scooching off my robe, and my husband simultaneously comes in. And he's like, "Oh, honey!" And I was like, "Like, I, baby, I cut myself on fire, like, right?" And I'm, "I'm on fire, for you darling!" <laughs> so I'm rushing it off. Oh my gosh, he honey, like, that's bad. But his, but his but his response was like, "Oh, dessert first. And I'm like, "Ha uh ha -huh, uh -huh. But yes, I literally caught myself on fire. And now you yeah. can laugh about it. Could I you laugh, laugh about, about it then? I did. I mean, I was. And After I was you knew you were okay? But I, yeah. But, and I had short hair then too. And so I was like, okay, thank goodness for short hair because <laughs> That's I would have been, scary I stuff, been honey. concerned if I had long hair. But yeah. I was like, okay, I can, get, I can get this done. But I was, oh my gosh. But some of like the most bizarre oh gosh, things that happen right? in our lives, that's the stuff you sit around the, yes. the family table yes. or with family and friends yeah. and laugh until you cry. Yes. Because you can see the humor now. Yes. So if you can just start to see the humor in a more immediate sense, yeah. like while, I mean, mm -hmm. you're not going to be laughing hilariously yeah. while you're on fire. On right. fire. Maybe. I mean, Maybe. I mean, I mean I that's, that's a pretty evolved <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm not sure I could Maybe go that myself, far. myself, yeah. Can I get a video of this? Like, this is such good After video. it was this over good, and I had a glass of, <laughs> glass of wine and a fire extinguisher with me, maybe then I could start laughing. Right? Oh my God. Yeah. But I do find myself in these little predicaments. Yeah. I'm like, but this is great content. And uh, you have inspired me because I now keep a my funny journal where it's just like all the funny things that have happened to me. Just recently I had a situation in my hip hop class. I'm not going to share it on here, maybe later. Anywho, was mortified. And I immediately, and I as I realized it, like, as I'm coming to my car, what had happened, you have to tell us. You can't oh start the story. I'll okay, tell you what so. it is. So she, uh, her dog ate the crotch out of her <laughs> hip hop pants and she didn't know it. And she was in the whole class. Oh and then God. she came out and looked down and noticed that she had this huge hole. I mean, this light, yeah. it's huge. And and, so, but isn't that hip hop oh attire? Gosh, I mean, didn't, you so should have just and torn I, no the one shirt. Said, no one said anything. And so I'm like mortified. To but, your face. But here's the thing sometimes is like when we like, I just had to see the humor in it because I was just like, oh my gosh. And then that the next so day, hilarious. the next day as I was reliving like what we were doing at the beginning, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did that. 
oh my gosh, I did that. And then I rolled on the floor and then I stood up like this and I was like, oh my gosh. Like either they just didn't see it because maybe oh, how often do we work, look at each other's they crotches? They saw it. And like, they've I mean, talked about it, but I'm not just, in front of you. I'm just saying it was mortifying. And I was like, but if I didn't find the humor in it, right? I yeah. would have been just like. You would have never I, gone back to hip hop. I would have never gone back. You would have back. been totally embarrassed. I would have been embarrassed. People do that all the time. It's ridiculous. I would have out of control and I would have been like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't have slept for five days because I'm like, oh, 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 have, probably a panic, right? So you're really touching on a skill that yes. is an evolved skill, and that's and I think it's the foundational skill, the ability to laugh with yourself. Yes. So it's not laughing at yourself in a derisive way. It's laughing like it's a human moment. I call them human moments. Yeah. This is my human moment. If Would this be funny if it were happening to somebody else? Yeah. And if the answer is yes, then see if you can find a way to laugh at yes. and with yourself in the moment. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take a little laugh break. Okay. <laughs> For just a moment. And we're gonna be right back with Karen with some more juiciness uh, with using humor in your everyday life. Want more support in creating your success story? My products can help. Check them out. First, I have my book, Be the Magic of You, Tools to Transform Your Life. And in it, I have over 70 different tools to help reprogram your brain. Next, I have my daily intentions planners. They help you create without forcing it. They combine brain science and universal laws. In addition to my book and planners, I also have two card decks you're sure to love, designed to support you to reconnect with your purpose, power, and potency. I also offer two special packages. The first is the success package. In it, you'll have my book and a year supply of planners to help you bundle and save. Next is my favorite, the empowerment package. You can supercharge your life and business by getting all the products at one low price. But wait, there's more. I also offer a yearly subscription called the Seven Figure Business Box. Each quarter, you'll receive a physical box mailed to your home, a live two-hour intensive training, an hour-long fireside chat with an expert in the industry, a guidebook packed with even more resources. To order anything you see here, just go to my website, talkingwithterry.com. And we're back with your <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, I tell the you. voice of truth. The voice of truth. Okay, so let me just ask you a serious question. Do you think that people are actually born funny or can it be learned? That's a great question. A lot of people ask that question. What, what do you think? Um, I think it can be a combination because I think that I, when I was younger, I don't think I had my skill set. I, 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 and maybe it was there. I just didn't know how to tap into it. But now, oh, that's good. But now I feel like I know how to access it better. Yeah. And I, and I do. Going back to our 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 first segment, I do kind of look for the funny in things. And so I kind of have this the like, humor opportunities. The humor op. Oh, I like that. The humor tunities. It's a word I made up. Humor Had some spare time. Made up a word. Hashtag humor tunities. But I do because I just look at everyday life, and I think it's because I I have like a four year old boredom brain where I'm like I'm often like bored, and I'm like hmm. Let me just watch over here. And I, I wonder what would happen if we did this. I know, I do. And I, I, I do that I, all like, the time. When boredom and curiosity combine with It's just one brain, big laboratory. It's, it's, I wonder yeah. what they'll do if I say this. I know. It I wonder what they'll fun. do if I do that. I do all these social experiments. I do them I, every day. I know. I love it's my it. life. I, know, I love it. It's so and great. Then, but I do kind of seek it out. So I'm always kind of curious. And I'm like, oh, isn't that funny? Or, you know, looking at, you know, whatever we're doing. I love people watching and I love coming oh. up with stories. And then I like to go check them out. Sometimes. Yeah. I make stories up of people in the, in the airports. That's a good plan. Yeah, like I'm That's like, good. okay. I'm traveling next week. I'm yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a great way to, you know, spend <laughs> yeah, a weekend, right. you know. Just. But is it, does it, is it weird when you start laughing and then like no one Oh, my gosh. I laugh, <laughs> I I laugh like, by like, myself like, all, all the time. The time. All is the time. Is that weird? <laughs> because I just find it funny. Like, yeah. Like, and I just look at people and I'm like, you know, and usually they're like, She's let me in. I want to laugh too. <laughs> or it's on. like, oh, some people. And I'm thinking... I feel so, you know, I say a little blessing to, for them, like, yes. I hope you find your humor. Yeah. But, you know, back to the question, I think that it is a combination. Yeah. I don't think, I think a lot of people try to get away with saying, well, I'm just not funny. You know, yeah. that's their, that's their kind of answer so just, for like, being miserable that, yeah. in life. Well, I'm just not a funny person. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you can choose. Mm, yeah. It's a mindset. You can yeah. choose to 
just be a, in a, a place where I'm going to see if I can find, you know, at least laugh at a joke. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, if a coworker tries to be funny, you know, and it's not really that funny, give them some grace and like, yeah. you know, ha 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 Jim, you know, or whatever. Have you ever done yeah, laughter yoga? Yeah, I teach laughter yoga. You I'm do? certified in it. Oh my gosh. I know, I don't so like to So I have brag. to tell you. I did it for the very first time at this retreat. It's so fat. Well, let's um, just tell people laughter yoga. Tell yeah, your audience laugh, what it is. Yeah, laughter yoga. It's really and let's let's let you answer it because I just went as a participant. It's a combination of yogic breathing, mm -hmm. which is from the diaphragm, yeah. uh, diaphragmatic breathing, and laughter. Yeah. And, and it's, it's a way of clear, literally cleaning your blood, yeah. like oxygenating your blood, and it is. Hilarious. It and you get in a room. So funny. And then it's a guided exercise. So let's just do one. And it's so and it's so Let's just do one right now. Oh, let's yeah. Let's do one. Do okay. we do we yeah, have time? Let's do it. Let's okay. Do it. So let's do tea party laughter, okay. right? So you have your teacup, right? And it's that <laughs> Okay. One. Wait, first we take a deep breath. And go. <laughs> 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 right? You get 50 people, 100 people, 1,000 people in a room, and it is mayhem by the end of it. crew in the back right now yes. going, what the Yeah, heck? they're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first time I did it, though, I was at this event, and we had about 75 people doing this, and you could tell the people that were the, I'm not funny, and they, some people just left. Like, they just like, I'm out. But the ones that stayed that yeah. weren't funny, they became so entertaining to watch. And so then I just started naturally laughing. So it's like five of us that were naturally laughing in this extra because we were It's a around. wonderful concept. And they're like, and they came up to me afterwards and like, they're like, you look like you were really laughing. I guess I was. Cause, and I said, like, didn't you see all the humor in the room? Like, I didn't get it. It's such a great release. Yeah. That's what it is. It is. You know, it one is. good belly laugh relieves 15 minutes of stress-related tension in the body. Ooh, say that again. One good belly laugh okay. relieves 15 minutes of stress-related tension. So think about when we get stressed, yeah. we literally contract, we're over computer yeah. screens all day. Yeah. We're just, we're, we're all just, you know, starting to yeah. contract. Open up yeah, your heart it. chakra with laughter. It'll change your life. Oh, it's so good. Okay. So where can people connect with you, find out more about you? Okay. My website is Stand Up for Success. So it's humor, it's business and confidence skills taught using humor. Mm -hmm. Stand up, because I have a stand up comedy background. Stand up, uh, stand up, <laughs> da, 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 da. stand up for success. Stand up for success, Terry. Dang it, let's do it. Dot com. That's where they can find me. <laughs> Someday I'll know my own website address. <laughs> okay, Someday we'll you, it'll we'll happen. Um, thank you so much for being you and just. You know, Mariska Hargitay. <laughs> just for all that you are and the way that you're being. Uh, connect with her. And next time I will see you. As always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be the magic of you. Massive love. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell to find out about my upcoming shows. Thank you for tuning in today, and I'll see you next time.